There's a whole lot of speculation out there right now, and it's all over YouTube and everywhere else. Most of that speculation is fear-based. What if things get worse? What if I lose my job? What if food and gas prices continue to soar? What if, what if, what if? And there's been some major YouTube channels that have kind of taken advantage of the fear-based mentality that's gripped our world. And they've changed their YouTube channels from where it used to be about simply making your life to be as self-sustainable as possible, just being a responsible person on the planet and living a more in independent life. And I kind of loved those channels, but some of them have changed and they've become really fear-based. Just look at their thumbnails sometimes. And I've left many of those channels I used to be subscribed to because I am basically not feeding the fear monster anymore. So if you've been finding yourself drawn to a whole lot of speculation of the what ifs in the negative sense, and you're finding you are only becoming increasingly fearful and anxious, I'd like you to take a little break, just for right now. Uh, and I'd like to offer a few alternative what ifs for you to meditate on today. What if God really means what he says and he can be taken at his word? What if he encourages you to dream big? What if he gives you plans to co-labor with him to bring those dreams into fruition? What if it's actually safe to go big or go home because you're already at home in him? What if it's, he says it's time to take off the training wheels? What if your potential in Christ is not shackled to the mistakes you made in your past? What if your effectiveness in the kingdom is not affected by your sins of yesterday? What if a contrite spirit he will not deny? What if the be betrayals and disappointments and wounds inflicted on you by others, your spouse, your loved ones, your enemies, and even other Christians, what if all these things are not insurmountable obstacles blocking you from reaching your full potential in Christ? What if the walls that you thought unscalable has a door wide open just waiting for you to take that deep breath and walk through? What if God's yes holds more power than man's no? What if the words God says about you hold more power than any words that have been used against you or could be used against you? What if greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world? What if he's a good shepherd and he will provide for you when you follow after him? What if you, he can see where he's leading you even when you can't see beyond the immediate word he gave you for today? What if that voice of deafening fear that has held you back is only the bark of a toothless, powerless old dog? What if God actually likes to spend time with you and enjoys your company? What if he trusts you much more than you trust yourself? What if God not only has the power to heal those wounded areas of your heart, but he longs to do so. What if he stands at the door, eagerly waiting for your say so, so he can help clean up the mess you think he doesn't know about? What if the people who matter most of all to you see all the flaws and imperfections you are so desperately trying to hide from yourself and from them? And what if they love you anyhow? What if you can make a significant difference in someone's life today? Just how you are and who you are at this exact moment. What if you're the one God is calling to be the answer to the prayer you've been praying on behalf of your 
family, your workplace, your church, your nation, and the world. What if you just took God at his word? <laughs>